So to begin with, we just pull off the switch, the front, or the selector switch. And then there's your board. So I'm going to try and take that out now. So I'll take a photo of all the wiring before you start, but luckily on this one they're all different, so it's hard to make a mistake. So unclip all the clips. Don't force them out, they don't want to come. There's all, if it ain't coming properly, that means it's got some sort of press release on it. That's all the wiring undone. Usually you have like push buttons on the bottom. Okay, you can see it, you push it down and it just comes forward. That's it. It's just that that makes it a bit awkward, the uh, selector switch. So that's your board. So basically you can buy these boards complete and replace them. A lot easier to do that. But you can test these resistances. So you've got little resistors. If any of them blow, obviously you can replace them quite easy. You've got some capacitors. You test them with your meter if you've got capacitance on your meter. Loads of them. Ceramic capacitor there. A couple of ceramic capacitors here above it. These are relays. You can test the coils on the relays by testing one side of them. And then you've got a transistor here. You can use diode mode to test transistors. You want to watch up videos here. You've got a little uh, metal oxide. I can't remember what they're called now, but they can burn out. Big resistor there. So there's a lot of stuff on there you can test. There's your buzzer. That Easy to replace. This side you've got some little switches, you can test them. And then you're getting into your more serious electronics surface mounted stuff over here. I mean you can replace some of these resistors here and diodes but you're getting more serious into electronics then so better off replacing the board anyway I'm going to refit it refitting is a lot easier make sure you get the right way around It would have been easy if I didn't trap that wire in there, but I won't. And by the time you've pushed all these in, you'll know that this board's seated correctly. That's it, just make sure the board is seated correctly. That one was empty before, I noted that. I should have mentioned that before, but then put your cap the selector switch back on and it goes on one way, so push it in till it clicks. So on some of these machines that are PCB controlled, you can look on the back, this is the rear access panel. And it gives you this PCB control pin out sort of thing. So you can actually test your PCB by back probing these wires. 
obviously it will be live so I'm not going to show you that but if you're a bit more experienced you can use this to test for signals going to your motor yeah door lock heater I can't see that I think that's switch see if it can focus struggling there but no what the switch noise filter plug the mister and your pre-wash and your main wash incoming mains valves really good bit of kit, bit of information that is the pin outs so look for that